Welcome back to another video here. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. There's been a lot of car stuff going on lately on the channel. Today's gonna to be a little bit more of that. Got my father here, who's never driven the Hellcat. He has driven the 392, which we're gonna get into that. That's my uncle's 392. He's gonna be driving both the cars today. My uncle drove my Hellcat yesterday, but we're gonna be basically doing a comparison between the two cars, get his take on what he feels between difference in acceleration, handling, what your take is on it from basically comparing these two cars, get his reaction to the Hellcat because he hasn't driven that and your smile is gonna get a lot bigger as soon as you drive it, it's a lot of fun. And then I'm gonna also get my uncle's take on the difference in handling, driving, stuff like that, the Hellcat compared to 392 because he's been driving that for what? Two years almost now, or? Daily, yeah, daily driver. Almost, almost two years of daily driving the 392. He went from driving mostly a truck day to day for quite a long time. He's also got a really sick looking third gen. You guys have seen that before. We're gonna get into the 392 first. We're gonna get his take on that and then we're gonna move on to the Hellcat. So we're in the 392 here first. First thing you're gonna notice is all the red interior. So if I scoot the seat up a little bit further, it gives me more leg to push the pedal down. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sport mode. So Dale, what is your favorite thing about this car? If you had to tell somebody out there who's curious about a 392. First of all, in one word, acceleration. Now I'm really impressed with its performance. Like I don't necessarily need to go high end, like on speed, but I just I don't, like- I don't need to go 120, yeah, but I just like getting, yeah, I like to, yeah, be able to get out and <laughs> punch it and go and yeah I love the acceleration. Kind of the difference for us which I appreciate is the four door on this because we have a family of six kids. Yeah it's just kind of nice to be able to you know take kids with us at times. Yeah. Okay that thing is still really quick. <laughs> yeah, that's zero to 75 and whatever time. One of the things too Malachi I like pretty impressed with what Dodge has done. Actually, I know a number of people have said the same thing. Like they're just kind of impressed that it sounds as throaty as it does. I know like with yours uh, being modified a little bit, it sounds even better, but it's kind of a nice balance to me of like, you get you get the noise, but it's also like not when obnoxious. you're cruising. Yeah, when you're cruising and you wanna you know go on a trip, it's not like rattling your teeth out, you know, so to speak. <laughs> He's just these. smiling right now. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love the way these roads are like throwing you around. Yeah, yeah and these things have kind of stiff suspension on them too, because, you know, they have to. Do a zero to 60 if you wanna. We're gonna go to the performance mode and let's see. Okay, so it says ready now. Now, do yeah. I wanna punch it hard or? I, I mean, just go for it. Yeah, go for it. Do you want sound with the windows down? You know what? Put mine down. You might want to put another one or another back one down if you want. We ready for this? See if we have any traction. Hopefully, those aren't the famous lines. <laughs> Like even like going up the hill. Go Doing a zero to, to sixty to up uphill. Like car behind me. Yeah, oh, that's your should never go 100 miles an hour. So we're gonna try for a zero to 60 here again because the last time a car was coming, so we just stop. moved. Just make sure I'm not sure how stable the video is gonna be, but we'll give you the time. Little, not, not necessarily a power break, but like just rev okay. it up just so it gets a little bit of RPM. Here we go, ready? Three adults in here. You ready? Yeah. That's a good number right there. Five. Five 
2.0 again. Man, this car sucks. <laughs> okay, so, what's your thoughts? You've driven this car before though, haven't you? I have. Have you driven it that hard before? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what's, your, what's your first thoughts on the 392? I love it. First, first. I mean, realistically, like, I can't imagine anything faster than this right now, so I'm excited to drive that one. But I think this one has more than enough. That one's a little scary. What's your thoughts? You drove, you've driven them both. What's your opinion? The word scary on the Hellcat, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, well, then let's go get scared. Let's go drive that. Thing. <laughs> I think Start I hurt my hip pushing the, pushing the <laughs> pedal down a little faster. This thing is filthy, guys. I know. We just took it on a road trip three hours to get here. A little nasty. I'm in the back seat of this. It's actually not that terrible unless you're sitting behind somebody that's 6'2", then it's horrible. Um, but here we are. What's your first impression differences? First thing that you notice in the interior, what are the main things you would point out? How this kind of swells up. Makes you feel like you're in a cockpit of a jet. I like the old school instrumentation yeah. gauges. What a nice little retro look. Late, late 60s, early yeah. 70s. Yeah. Steering wheel little, feels a little bit thicker. Oh, it looks a little different. Same as his was. But there, this says it's 707. What was yours? Mine doesn't show. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm scared back here. I'm scared. I'm to scared up here. I shouldn't be, but I am. Um, I gotta get a feel for it. I might drive it just a little bit first. Just to try. This thing's Drag freaking down. loud. Careful. <laughs> I was getting it to the to the stop. <laughs> I didn't do that. Light up. And you can just feel that. Oh. That's called happiness. <laughs> that feeling is happiness. That's what that is. Just get a test run. You gotta come to a stop. You gotta yeah. come to a stop. I'm not gonna pin it though. I don't wanna end up in well, that swamp. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I mean, you gotta control it. Whoa, 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 it's gonna, okay, yeah. <laughs> So you're, much more throttle yet. You're like tearing up. You're yeah. smiling so oh, hard. Crap. My <laughs> face is hurting. Oh, it feels good. Yeah, that's some serious power. <laughs> <laughs> Go this to 80 like that. I know. But that's why it's got really good Brembo brakes. I feel heavier to you. It felt like heavier to, to me, like the car. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely got a different feel. But it's not that much heavier. Like, it's that's what's crazy. To when me. you look on paper, it's like less than 200 pounds different. Yeah. It feels like a wider stance, and it feels, it sits up a little bit higher. I like higher the firmness to me. of the steering wheel. Yeah, I like that. I don't but, know if I'm gonna pin it yet, but I'm gonna. You really can't. I, I, I almost feel like you need to kind of ease into it. To like like just let don't break the traction on yeah like my brother-in-law said that you have to roll into it on you these have stock to tires. you have to almost find that perfect sweet spot of like full power to not breaking traction wherever that yeah. sweet spot is we good to go yeah yeah Oh, this is so crazy. 
You see a changed man here. He's never gone fast. No, I, I'm like seriously. Like he's that. driven fast many times, candy, but candy him, right there. yeah, yeah. My dad, he's the he's a 40, like you said, 45 miles per hour to work. That's that's his that's his go fast time. So the big question is. Do I get both? <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. I haven't driven his 392 any time recently but I'm guessing my Hellcat with a 500 horse key is fairly similar. That would be my guess. At least for me, it felt more like when I was sitting in the backseat of that car and the acceleration all that stuff, that's what my black key felt like, which is still a freaking ton of power. When Reagan drove it, still scared me a little bit. You kind of said you wouldn't so, go Hellcat. It's just a lot of power. It's amazing power, yeah. You can never have too much. It's like one of those, but you're, you know, at the same token, I feel like a lot of it, I feel like you get a lot of the power to the ground, but I feel like with the Hellcat, there's so much more like in reserve, you know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's like, you had the right tires, right combination where you could transfer it, you know, it just would be insane. Yeah. If you still had to choose right now, would it still be 392? Would that still be your preference? Uh, I, I like my 392, I really do. This is your first time ever driving fast. <laughs> you this is did the it. fastest car I've ever drove. <laughs> ever, 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 ever. Yeah. But you know, I drove that earlier today and then I drove it again just a few minutes ago and that car puts a smile on my face. And we were, of course, not on public roads because that wouldn't be the right thing no, to do. No, we were, we were down in Mexico. We were trying to do launches with the 392. And even with the power there, you, you know, his tires aren't the best at this point. But even the power there, I was having a hard time beating the record, <laughs> if you will, because I was losing, what, a second and a half? Just, just spinning. trying to get, yeah, just because there's already so much power, that thing just spins, and I'm pinning it. Yeah. This thing's scary in the sense of when we looked at, like, with this one, I just, I've never put this pedal, even I felt like halfway down. Yeah. Because even when you start it going, you're spinning, you're going lifting up at the front, you're going up at the back. I'd love to have both. <laughs> <laughs> I think for, I don't know, like, I'm gonna keep my eye on both of them. So, so here's the question. So if you had to choose, you've got a 392, you've got a Hellcat, regardless new or used, you find them in, like, similar price. Yeah. Let's just say pricing is the exact same depending on the condition. One could be new, you one could be like used, one could be used, one could be new. Is I'd like to drive a 392 in the Challenger body style. That's addictive. That's fun. <laughs> yeah. It's scary. It's fun. Yeah. It's scary. <laughs> no. I like them both. I'm gonna have to really think about that. <laughs> What's pretty cool is that you can get American cars with that much power. Thank you, Dodge. For, yeah. Uh, yeah, for that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I do love the Mopar stuff. I will say, like yeah. even with releasing the Dodge Demon and they've got other stuff in the works, like they give you so much performance for the money. I think that's the biggest thing that draws a lot of people to them is mm -hmm. their warranties are like five years, 100,000 miles on that. Right. And a lot of power for the money. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it just... A lot of bang know. for your buck, as they say. Yes, yeah. a lot of bang for the buck. I'm a truck guy. I always have been. I've always that guy that's like, if I had to choose between a Lambo and a New Cummins, I'm taking the New Cummins. You know what we've I mean? All, like, yeah, we've all been that way. Like, yeah. it's the first car I've had. We've always driven trucks. And it's yeah. like, there's something fun about it. And actually, what got you looking at this is what I was telling you what I always wanted. I'm like, I want a 392. I want a 392. I want a 392. Loud and proud. The man was the one that got us into this. And so then you're his... like, let me look into that. And yeah. then he drove one of these. He's like, I'm going to get a yeah. 392. Well, that's what, if you remember when we first, your very first giveaway truck with Big Stinky, was that Johnny? Yeah. Yep. We, uh, we literally dropped off his first giveaway truck to Johnny and his family in that parking lot. 
and then we went down the hill and there was a Dodge dealership and the first thing we did was pull in there. We were looking started, at Challengers and looking Chargers. At Challengers and Chargers yeah. and that was about yeah. two years yeah, ago. Yeah, that was over two Almost, years ago. Oh, about two years ago now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So these have been something on our wish list, I guess, for a while. Yeah. I think I might have to accelerate that uh, purchase. You've been looking at process. a lot of cars recently. <laughs> Every time I'm like, what are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's like, oh, you know, just... Usually it's like work on his phone. He's like, I'm just looking at challengers. That's all. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. My prediction is you'll be videotaping him Tuesday coming up here with this new vehicle. <laughs> There's okay. a couple online that I've been looking at, and so I'm just trying to, I'm trying to dial it in and just see again. Since this is the first time I've dro driven uh, this car, I didn't really have any idea of you, what I wanted. You were smiling so hard, like your eyes were watering. You're like, dude, this is amazing. <laughs> Are you opposed if we take the Hellcat in this field and just try to do donut? I've always wanted to do donut in a car. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the end of the video today, but hopefully guys enjoyed that. Do not forget that if you want to enter to win, not the car, but our 2018 6.7 Cummins, we're giving away the white 6.7 Cummins. There's a link in the description below. Go to lmpgear.com because right now every $5 is 10x entries to win, but that ends tomorrow, May 28th. So get your entries while you can. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Leave a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, and we'll catch you in the next video. 10x entries are back to win this truck plus $5,000 cash. So if you haven't done so yet, head on over to LMP gear.com grab a shirt grab a hat grab whatever you want off the store because every five dollars right now is ten times the entries towards winning this truck plus five thousand dollars cash